Hello, my name is Rex Basterfield, and this is my Qualcomm Terror Min. And that was my rather pathetic attempt at playing the Star Trek theme. Um, it's all in the wrist action when you're using a mouse, and uh, I'm not going to make any jokes about my wrist action. So for all the details about uh, the global operation with a mouse, the oscillator system filter effects phase distortion ADSR, um, read the user guide because that goes into great depth and I didn't really want to make this into a video tutorial so um, now I'll run through uh, some of the presets and um, have a listen to uh, what you can do with this thing. Blue zoom in as an example of using uh, the scale and uh, this is a blue scale. <laughs> The filter min is an example of using the vertical position of the mouse to open or close uh, the filter. It's a minor triad scale there. If we select uh, re-trigger on the ADSR, you'll get a trigger sent out every time there's a note change, change of pitch number. And this is uh, what I call the Exotic Man, which has uh, a nice sort of, I don't know, maybe oriental flavour. One of the uh, classic uses of a uh, theremin, uh, which I personally like, is to create eerie, uh, spooky sort of sound effects. Uh, this is the theremin preset itself. Jimmy Page of Led Zeppelin fame used to use a theremin in some of his more psychedelic moments, like in Whole Lot of Love. Um, now, on this preset, uh, when you press the sustain pedal, the feedback goes to maximum, so you can play the theremin and influence the, uh, the feedback time for the delay. How about a walking fretless bass?
Oscillator 4 has uh, an option for three different types of noise, so we can make some nice uh, sound effects with that. The Bangamin uh, preset explores percussive sounds. If we turn on re-trigger on the envelope generator. We get that. The preset that, for some reason, I decided to call Spogamin. I wonder why. Uh, it sort of sounds a little bit like a cello at the low end and more like a vocal sound at the top end. And when you increase the mouse position, you bring in the LFO to modulate the uh, the, the pitch to give you vibrato. So. The Triggermin preset uh, has re-triggering set on a somewhat percussive ADSR sound with a custom scale. Uh, so This is a quick example of changing the uh, root note of the uh, the scale that's selected, in which case this is uh, a user scale. So I'm going to play the MIDI keyboard to change the root note. If you want a nice fat synthy sound then you can start playing around with the Fatamin preset which uses all the oscillators. you can change the scale. Let's go for the classic blues one. Better to use the high side for that. setting the oscillators up as a, a kind of additive synth which is what it is I guess in a way you can uh, make a sort of a, a church organ cathedrally haunted sort of a sound Now, uh, I'm not quite uh, fat enough yet 
to be classified as a whale, but I can practice the noises. How about the sound of somebody with a circular saw in a cave, which must happen quite often. This next preset, which I've called Clackamin, uh, uses a low frequency repetition rate short pulse to excite the filter. If I bring the mod wheel in there, you'll hear the sort of rhythm change. That's where the mod will fully up. This last one I call Devil Men. Uh, it makes extensive use of uh, repeat echo, and when I press the sustain pedal, it will hold. So the devil's drum. As I always say, I hope you have uh, a bit of fun with my Qualcomm Terramin and uh, possibly find some creative use for it. And uh, so until the next time, bye!